Today, we're going to be comparing DeepSeek R1 versus Quen 2.5 Max, which is the new version just released from Alibaba this week, versus ChatGPT4. I'm going to see which is the best model. Now, so the first test that we're going to go with is we're going to make sure we have DeepSeek R1, and we're going to compare how each performs when we say build a snake game in HTML. So we're going to hit enter like so. We're going to do the same over here and select artifacts, which is a feature for building tools. And then we're going to do this in, inside ChatGPT 01 Mini. Now, R1 is probably the slowest model by far from what I've seen. Now, in terms of speed, ChatGPT 01 is absolutely flying through. It's already created the output. DeepSeek R is still coding out. Let's have a look at Quinn. Quinn is just loading the artifact right here, but it's not come up yet. If you want something fast, ChatGPT is already winning. Now let's preview the output. So we're going to click on edit over here. And then we're going to click on preview and we can actually preview the code inside ChatGPT. Now, if we look at this game, not very good. Now, if you actually look at this game, we actually can't play it. I can't move around. I can't direct anything. And there's not much of a snake. Not a great start. Let's test DeepSeek R1. So we're going to click on run HTML. We'll see what we get back. We'll click on start game. And that just put game over straight away. And now inside Quen 2.5 is actually working. Look at that. Oh, perfect. So in terms of outputs, Quen 2.5 Max, even though it's not a logic game, is still smashing it. Wow. Bear in mind, ChatGPT01 and DeepSeek R1 are supposed to be reasoning models. So they're supposed to think these things out. They're supposed to be better for logic. But Quen 2.5 Max is absolutely smashing it. Look at that. Perfect. Much better than what we got back here. That's blowing me away, honestly. Next up, what we're going to be testing is web search feature. So obviously, this is very powerful for doing research finding the latest news, connecting the AI to the internet, because otherwise without that, most of these models are very outdated. They're only trained up to a certain amount of data. So using the web search feature, we can actually get information in real time. So what I'm going to say today is what happened in today's AI headlines, right? And we'll give that prompt to Quen 2.5 Max. Then we're going to test the same thing inside DeepSeek. Let's start a new chat here. Here we go. And make sure we have search selected. And then we're also going to do the same inside ChatGPT. However, look at that. It's blurred out. We cannot use the search inside ChatGPT. Now, bear in mind, this is a pay tool. I am paying for ChatGPT01 for the privilege of using this model. But I can only use the search feature inside ChatGPT 4.0. It is not available inside the chat here. So DeepSeek has come back to us. DeepSeek search. Yeah. Sorry, DeepSeek search service is busy. Please disable search or try again later, right? So that completely failed. ChatGPT 01 doesn't even give in the option. And then Quen 2.5 Max has absolutely smashed it. Look at this. And um, we've got a bunch of ideas right here. And you can see this is pretty up to date. So for example, daily update, January the 30th, 2025, which is today, we've got the news headlines. So Quen 2.5 Max didn't just work, which by default means it wins, but also it found us the latest headlines and therefore we are smashing it. So you got to bear in mind here, logic and reasoning model, failed both tests. Logic and reasoning model, failed both tests. Quen 2.5 Max, not a reasoning model, not a logic model, but absolutely smashed both of these and is available for free. Next up, what's, what we're going to be testing is DeepSeek's image generation versus Quen 2.5's versus ChatGPT 01's image generation. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to click on image generation inside Quen 2.5 Max. Uh, we're going to put cat eating a banana, all right? And that's the same prompt that ChatGPT is going to get. So we'll put image of cat eating banana and we'll do the same inside this multimodal model from deep seek which is hosted on hugging face because it is too powerful to host locally for me so we'll keep the other options default we'll hit generate image and that is generated now as you can see the black line is going up so quen 2.5 max has actually failed on us look at that error we'll give it another go but i don't think that's going to work at all let's see what we get back it is generating the image but it did fail the first test. Now, ChatGPT01 cannot generate images. So we're going to switch this to GPT40 as well, just to make this a fair test. All right, so we'll wait for that to load. And then we have the image back from Janus, and it did everything first time around. So no messing around there. And if we open this up, that is a cat eating a banana. I mean, it's absolutely smashing that banana, to be fair. Let's have a look through the other images. He's having a great time there. This one is getting its teeth right stuck in. The only thing that I don't like about these images is that the images are very 
pixelated the you know like it's not quality is it it's not quality image and it's not very convincing either if we go over to quen 2.5 max that's had a better go here to be fair that does seem realistic i think that could fool a lot of people if you didn't know it was ai and if we go inside chat gpt photo i don't like this at all i wouldn't use that on my content because it's just so cartoonish if i'm sure you can ask it to generate a different style so we could say like make it to graphic but you're gonna have to do that every single time right so out of all of these if i had to put them in order i'm gonna say quen 2.5 max smashed it janus pro 7b from deep seek ai i've actually got another video on this if you want to check out has come in second and then even when we ask it to come up with something more like photo style it's still not quite right right it still doesn't feel realistic little pro tip for you here actually if you really want to get good outputs for images i would recommend grok it's pretty fast and it gives you four different options at the same time that's the other drawback from quen 2.5 max which is that you just get one image same with chat gpt whereas with janus pro 7b you get five different images to choose from even if you wouldn't choose any but you can see the images from grok here and aside from the banana floating in the air i would say the grok would win that any day of the week right and grok is using flux as far as i'm aware for generating those ai images super impressive stuff so what we're going to do now is we're going to test inside the new chat we're going to go to video generation here and this is one i prepared earlier because it takes so long for quen 2.5 max to generate videos so just bear in mind like it did take about 20 minutes or 30 minutes to generate this but we basically use a prompt cat eating biscuitinos and here's what we got back multiple cats eating biscuits that's what a time to be alive you can automate all of this with ai what a time to be alive inside deep seek you can't generate videos so it's not really comparable but we can use sora inside chat gpt if you're on the 200 dollars per month plan now bear in mind quen 2.5 max is free deep seek r1 is free if you want to generate images you have to be on the chat gpt pro plan and that costs 200 dollars a month aka 2400 dollars per year that is the price I pay to entertain you folks at home. Now, now Sora is a pretty cool platform, to be fair. Like, you can see, you get loads of different videos. You can see what people are creating in real time. Like, that does beat Quen 2.5 max. But if we go over to here, we're just going to go for, like, a quick five-second video. We'll plug that in. Cat eating biscuitinos. Let's see what we get back. And it's taking its sweet time, so we might come back to that in a second. The final thing that I want to compare between all these models is whether you can use them locally right so here's the thing that you should also know about and it's super important to get this right by the way we just got this video back so let me let me cover this first and then we'll come back to that so we got cat eating biscuitinos honestly that's probably the most realistic video out of all of them i would say that wins by a long way and it's given us four different options so it is superior to quen 2.5 maps i can see why it costs a lot more money i probably wouldn't use this as b-roll but it's impressive it's impressive and bear in mind like we just generated that at 480p you can generate it in higher resolutions which means that the videos will look better so out of all of them open ai sora wins then quen 2.5 max and obviously deep sea cannot generate videos now the final thing that i want to come on to is whether you can host these locally okay so if you have a llama downloaded which is completely free to download. You can just download it right there. And then you type in DeepSeek R1. This is a massive advantage for DeepSeek R1. So you can just go to your terminal. You can run, you can make sure you have a Llama 2 running. And then if we open this up, you've now got DeepSeek R1 ready to go with the distilled model, right? So for example, if I say, what model are you? We can just run DeepSeek R1 locally and you can see here it comes back straight to us. Now that is a massive advantage, let's be honest, because you can run this offline, you can run it locally, you can access this whenever you want. And also, you know, some people are concerned about privacy, so this will probably be a better way to use this. Now for Quen, Quen 2.5, you can download, but the latest model, aka Quen 2.5 Max, is not available, right? So you cannot host that locally with a Llama. And ChatGPT is not available locally either, right? And so if you're looking for something local that is pretty lightweight, because this is quite lightweight running on my laptop, you know, I can do up stuff in the background, have this just running when I need it to. Like, it's really good for that. That is a massive advantage of DeepSeek R1. The other thing as well, if we go to 
Visual Studio Code, and I'm just showing you this as an example, we can actually use the API from DeepSeek R1 completely for free, right? So if we go to root code, right here, I've got a video on it from yesterday. And then if we go to open router, plug in your open router API key, right? Which you can get from openrouter.ai. And then you can plug in your API keys. You can just grab a new one from this section right here. And then when you plug that into Visual Studio Code with root code or client or whatever you use, you can actually select DeepSeek forward slash DeepSeek hyphen R1 free. This is amazing because now you get a free API that you can code and build projects with. For example, you can see here, we built a snow day calculator website earlier today. We built a to-do list app, didn't cost us a penny because we we're using the free API from DeepSeek. So there's all sorts of amazing stuff you can do with the free API when you pair it with these models like Visual Studio Code. Now, if we go inside the model section here, you can use ChatGPT, but it's using ChatGPT 4.0 latest, which obviously is gonna cost you money. Right, it's not gonna be for free. And then also if we type in Quen here, we can get access to Quen 2.5. There's different models here. You can get a free version here. So you get a Quen 2.7b for free as well, but you don't get Quen 2.5 max for free on the API, right? So if you want a free API, DeepSeek R1 is smashing it. If you wanna host it locally, DeepSeek R1 is flying, right? But for most things, for the average Joe, I'm gonna say Quen 2.5 max does everything you need to, right? Pretty impressive model, great for content creation. HTML can code games, is quite fast to respond. It can create images, videos, etc. Pretty good stuff. ChatGPT01 is super powerful if you're running a business, right? So for example, like the video options, you know, ChatGPT operator, these are like nice to have if you're running a business and you know, you're not too fussed about the prices. A DeepSeek R1, great for running locally. So again, Quen 2.5 Max, for the average person watching this, probably the best model. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to a community of 3,700 AI SEOs and a free AI course along with 50 free AI SEO tools and 200 free chat GPT prompts, feel free to get that link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, link in the comments description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visits a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan to scope the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building and 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you see right here. Feel free to boot in. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.